Good morning, students. Hope that you are fine and safe. Today, we are going to do the topic of air. As you may know, air is present everywhere around us. Can we see air? No, we cannot see air. We cannot see air, but we can feel it. Does air has a taste? No, it doesn't. What are the properties of air? Air has no color, so it is colorless. Air has no smell, so it is odorless. And air is tasteless. Now, let us talk about the presence of air. Look at this picture. Where are the can and the bottle found? The can and the bottle are found in a water basin. What is coming out of the can and the bottle? Bubbles of air are coming out of the can and the bottle. Now, what does this experiment show us? This experiment shows us that air is present in empty containers. Now, look at this picture. Where is the lump of soil kept? The lump of soil is kept in a jar containing water. What can you see rising from the lump of soil? Bubbles of air. What does this activity show us? This activity shows us that air is present in the soil. Now, suppose I place a bottle of water outside in the sun. What will happen after some time? What do you see on the inner surface of the bottle? There are air bubbles on the inner surface of the bottle. Now, what happens if you tap the bottle with a ruler? The air bubbles will rise up. Where do the bubbles come from? The bubbles come from the water in the bottle.
What does this activity show us? This activity shows us that air is present in water. Let us now talk about the importance of air. As we all know, human beings need air to stay alive. Fresh air is necessary for animals to stay alive. Air is necessary for plants to stay alive. We can see that all living things need air in order to stay alive. How do plants take in air? Plants take in air through the small holes in their leaves and these small holes are called pores. Air is also necessary for burning to take place. As you can see in the picture, I have two candles. Candle A and Candle B. Both candles are burning. Candle B is covered with a jar. Now, according to you, what will happen after some time? After some time, candle B will stop burning. Why? Candle B will stop burning because it does not get a continuous supply of air. While burning, carbon dioxide is produced. So, the presence of carbon dioxide in the jar has helped to put out the flame of candle B. What does this experiment show us? This experiment shows us that air is necessary for burning. Il faut prendre beaucoup de vitamine C, il faut manger beaucoup de fruits et des légumes, il faut vous laver les mains chaque heure. Ne sortez surtout pas de la maison et essayez d'aider maman et papa dans les tâches ménagères. Il faut aussi faire beaucoup d'exercices physiques, beaucoup d'activités physiques. Aussi, il faut faire des devoirs, il faut réviser et surtout prenez soin de vous et de votre famille.